Hey, 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 it's Terry, Virginia's daughter, coming to you actually from Virginia's room. For those of you who may not know, Virginia is my late mother who passed away in 2014. She was a self-taught seamstress, and it's because of her that I have way too much fabric, way too many patterns, <laughs> way too many notions, and just way too much passion about this craft of sewing. So I thank her for that. A little backstory, this is my second video. My first video I did about nine months ago. I was so excited about an embroidery system. Now I've been sewing for years and years and years, have had this um, Husqvarna Viking designer till the past 50 since about 2012, and never really got into the embroidery feature until like several years ago. Well, I went and purchased this Premier Plus Two embroidery system and I got it at a really good price, but this thing is loaded. I was so excited about it, I made a video about it. And I called it intro. It's not even really an intro. It's just, hey, watch me play around with this, you know, for a minute. I had to pause because my machine messed up. I decided that it was more important that I keep on with this process because I do want to learn what this program is capable of doing. So I decided not to stop that. I was like, you know, I'm just going to keep learning it, keep putting it out there, and then when I do get a machine that I can use to stitch these designs out, I'll do that. So, stay tuned, subscribe, like, and um, all that good stuff. Let's start with the Premier Plus 2 embroidery system website. This is a gem. There is so much information here from information about modules. I'm talking about detailed information about modules. There's download information about downloading software. There's the inspiration tab. There's the learning center. It tells you where to purchase. It gives you support. This is the inspiration tab and it's just a ton of stuff. I mean that you can go through and learn. This talks about the lettering frames and super designs, the learning center itself and the software newsletter. The learning center is chock full of information. If you are thinking about buying this program, you want to visit this website. If you already have the program, the learning center is the place to go. This I just clicked on this to show you some of the items that they discuss here. You also want to make sure that you are looking at the proper operating system that you have, either Windows or Mac, and um, it's just a great place to go. You can view it via PDF. They have PDFs you can look at. Look at the detailed instructions. Look at the illustrations. Nice and colorful. It may take you some time to work through it, but you got your step-by-step -step guide on exactly what to do to create what it is that you need. Here I just showed you what the video looks like once I decided I wanted to see it. And it's just they give you these word clouds or soft music playing in the background and you just follow along that way. Also from the Learning Center area, you can sign up to be on the mailing list. So if you go back to Learning Center, you're going to see some other tabs there. And one of them is to subscribe to the mailing list. The other one, and you just put your information in there and you'll be uh, added. The other one is for where to buy. But the one thing I like about, well, this is obviously under construction. The one thing I like about this website is you can get to so many pages from so many pages. So you don't always have to go back to one page. There are ways to navigate all throughout this website to all pages that you need to go to. So here is where to buy. You go in and just type your city and state and it will let you know where to go. Downloads is another place that you want to go, um, especially you can download your software from the package that you buy, but you can also download it from the website. There's a video that shows you how to download that. There's the MacBook and the Windows. Again, to the left is that menu that takes you anywhere you want to this website, and that is throughout the entire website. You can go anywhere you want. You don't have to be in a certain spot. Right now, I've clicked on Software Help and Updates. This is a great place for like frequently asked questions, um, just updates about what's going on, especially software updates. You can get that there. Just go in and type the question that you have and then search for it. And I'm sure that it will yield some type of response. So if we go back to the Premier Plus 2 website, this is where you will find information about the Premier Plus 2 products. So we start with the Premier Plus 2 software and you have three software packages that you can purchase. You have the Premier Plus 2 Embroidery, the Premier Plus 2 Extra, and the Premier Plus 2 Ultra. And the Ultra is the one that I purchased.
So let's take a closer look at each one of these packages and see what it is that you get. When you get to the Premier Plus 2 embroidery, this gives you a full description of some of the things you can do. It will let you know what comes in your box. It'll let you know um, the designs and images that you have. That little blue field there is telling you that all of the common features come with all of the packages. And then there are certain features that come with the extra and the plus. You get an itemized description of the designs and images. To the left, that menu there allows you to navigate to any place um, that you want to be. This also talks about the file formats that you're able to save in, what your Windows specifications have to be, as well as your MacBook, your operating system for Mac, the requirements to download the program. And last but certainly not least is the Ultra package. You get everything in the Ultra that you get in the Extra, as well as the ability to manipulate designs and images and fonts in such a way that you cannot do in the other two programs. You also get 100 bonus designs, as well as additional modules and, of course, user guides to cover the additional information that you need. There are, however, several, I think there are about six modules that you do not get unless you have Windows 7, 8, and 10, or if you have a Mac operating system. This is something that I did not realize until after I purchased the program. So it was once I had purchased the program, brought it home, and downloaded it that I realized that as a Mac user that I was not going to get all the features. And I was like, shouldn't there be some kind of discount for me, us Mac users? What do you think? So let's get into the program. From your MacBook, you can go to Finder and go to Applications. You can access your software from there. Once it's been downloaded, you can see my icons there. Or you can go to Launchpad, where your applications are automatically housed, and access your software program from there. And so just like with anything else with your MacBook, you can keep your icons in the dock. So I clicked on Quick Font there. And then I right clicked on the icon and it brought up the options and I just said keep in the dock. So all of my icons are right there when I need them. Let's go into the configure component of the software. Here you're going to be able to adjust the settings for how you display and export your embroidery files. So beginning with the utilities tab, you see there are five tabs across the top here. In utilities, you're going to be able to check the installation to make sure it was installed properly, register and activate your software, update the software, reset your apps, back up your settings, restore your settings, as well as reset um, any of your file applications. Your reference guide, as well as the integrated help feature, will give you detailed information about each one of those items. Next, we move on to appearance options. This is where you're able to vary the way that the embroidery files are displayed in your Premiere Plus 2 embroidery system. Beginning with the background color, you can change the way your worksheet, your work area looks in your embroidery system. You just click on a color and the background will change immediately, and this will be throughout all of the modules that you have. In in addition to that, you can go with the background texture. So you can select the texture that you want to use in your embroidery system. You want to choose the desired fabric from the pop-up menu and select none to have no texture at all. You can also change the grid color to contrast or coordinate with your worksheet area. As you navigate closer to the center of the color wheel, the lighter your colors become. For real size, you want to use a ruler uh, on screen to adjust the settings so that your Premiere Plus 2 embroidery system can display their embroideries at their real world size. The real size measurement is 100% on the zoom slider. You have the option between millimeters and inches for how you want to enter and view your measurements in your Premiere Plus 2 embroidery system. This is where you would also change the cut out applique background color and fabric texture. The import tab is what you use to choose a thread range for your Premiere Plus 2 embroidery system. You can optimize your sewing by combining, which means that you merge your embroidery into a single embroidery during export. You can remove the overlap, which will prevent areas of stitching building up where embroideries overlap. You can also color sort, which will reduce the number of thread colors during export. And you can optimize the stitch length, which automatically removes the small and insignificant stitches. For further optimization, you can also 
adjust the stitch length sensitivity as well as to minimize your significant stitch length. As you can see here in the import tab is also where you would um, create a center placement or a line placement for added decorations. You can also remove all decorations in this tab. You can set the hoop orientation to rotate to fit the natural hoop position as well as to automatically flip if the felting needle is detected. Export is what you use to configure the way your embroidery files are saved and stitched out. Export file name will allow you to change the suffix that is added to a file name when exporting to distinguish it from the original multi-part embroidery file. Finally, you can choose how to split your multi-hoops embroideries using an intelligent split or a straight line split. The connection tab is how you manage the connection between your computer and your MISONET account. Just enter your email address and password and you'll be connected. This little question mark here that you will see throughout the program is the integrated help. The integrated help contains full reference information. You just click on the help button, the little question mark, wherever it's available, and a help topic will appear that is relevant to the selected item. Alternatively, you can use the help menu, which appears in the main menu at the top of the page. Once you are into the Premiere Plus 2 embroidery software program, you can customize how your toolbar looks. I thought you'd be able to see it from here, but you can't. So you go to the view menu, and when you scroll down, you will see where it says customize toolbar. Right away, you'll notice movement in the toolbar at the top of your screen. The option here, the drop down box, will give you an option of either dragging items to the toolbar as you see them there, or using the default toolbar, which I chose to do. There are also several options for how you view it. You can have icon and text, which is what I have selected. That is my preference. You can also choose text only, uh, icon only, I'm sorry, where you just see the icons, or you can choose text only, which is rather boring if you ask me, but those are the options available to you. There is also a change size option, which will let you change the size of the icons, which gets a little smaller, but not much. The last thing I'll talk about in this video is the hoop selection. You're going to want to select the hoop according to the size that you use on your embroidery machine or what you want to stitch out. So you enter the desired size. You can also add your favorite hoops to my hoops. The hoop information will be stored in your VP4 embroidery file and used for your initial export settings. The main embroidery file type with a Premiere Plus 2 icon is the VP4 format. 